how are you lot doing? Basically, this video um, I wanted to bring out was you for you guys. Uh, I was thinking about it at work all fucking day, to be fair. I didn't, I didn't even need to swear then. I apologise, viewers. I apologise. I didn't even need to swear then. I need to, I need to cut down on my swearing. So, first thing I just want to say is that the ST is now off the road for a bit. We're going to be doing some stuff to the car. Um, you guys will see in like a week or two time what's going to be happening to the car. But for now, the car's off the road. So, um... It's a pretty sad, sad time not driving my car at the moment, but you know, having it off the road for a bit whilst I get some stuff done to it, and it's gonna be well worth it afterwards. So, yeah, you'll definitely see what's going on. But this video, I'm just talking about you, talk to you guys about um, number plates, private number plates, and the size of the number plates. So, basically, um, well, I've got my own private number plate L19 BOU, L being for Luke. Uh, 19 being the age I bought the number plate and BAU for being for Born. Now, I could have got something pretty crazy like L Born or Luke or Born. But um, with, obviously with numbers and letters, not just on its own. But um, but it was crazy prices. And at my age at the minute, I don't want to be paying like mad prices for a number plate. And I couldn't really afford it. So basically, um, I went for that number plate. And if you're going to get one, go and get one. Because chances are, plates, are, private plates are going fucking quick these days. They'll just let, Everyone's buying one now. It's like the new in thing. Everyone wants to buy a new number plate. It's like people with modified cars and that as well. Or they just look way better than the number one plate and it symbolises something and I just personally think it makes your car look a bit better than what it what it comes as standard with the standard plate. But yeah, basically, um, I was just letting you guys know about these, this private plate thing just because of the fact that they are cheap at the minute. Like my number plate, I think I paid about 300, 400 and something for it. But you can get them now for about, I typed in LBOU, just check, like on plates for less. That's a website, definitely go check out. I'll pop that in the description down below. Um, definitely go check out that number plate because they do sell really cheap private number plates. But yeah, go ahead and check that out. And um, what I want you guys to do is, like, well, what I done was I typed in L BOU and it came up with L16 BOU, L like 21 BOU and things like that. And it was like 116 quid. And I was like, shit, right, I need to pop a video out just to let everyone know what's going on with private number plates at the minute. Because, I, yeah, like I said, for mine, I paid like 300, 400 quid. But obviously, you're going to have to pay retention charges which is about 80 quid for retention, um, just to transfer over to your vehicle, of course. And then you have to pay some government charges as well, which is like 30, 40 quid. So you're paying an extra 100 quid on top just for everything, but then that that retention charge is paid for if you want to change your, um, for the next time you change it to like another vehicle and stuff like that. And I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. But, but yeah, basically, I mean, it's cheap at the minute. You can get yourself like, with like five let five words and letters on, like really cheap now. and. Personally, I think with a short and number plate and gel number plate, they look fucking awesome on a car. But yeah, that's that. Um, definitely check out Plates for Less. I'll pop it down the link below. Um, grab yourself a private plate. At the end of the day, it's yours and you own that for the rest of your life then. Just buy it before someone else does. Buy it as a Christmas present. Christmas coming up. I mean, like, just go and spoil yourself. Do something like that, I would. But yeah, next thing is basically the... Um, the uh, what was I going to do next? It was the... It was a shortened plates, that's it. Basically, the shortened plates. So, why I chose to speak about the shortened plates is because a lot of people at the minute, you know, they're saying they're getting pulled over by the police, and there's a lot of thing going, things going on about, you know, having shortened plates and spacings in your plates and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to put out straight away that you're not allowed to have, um, you're not allowed to space out your letters on your private number plate. You can't, you have to keep them within normal. Um, size limit as text has to be a normal size limit and you can't move them over like space them over because that is just illegal at the end of the day like people putting letters and words together just to make it look like a name stuff like that it's illegal I wouldn't bother doing it it'll, it'll fucking you'll end up either getting points or something ridiculous like that so I wouldn't even bother um, next thing I would say is that yes it's legal to have a short and plate if everyone's saying no it's not it is legal right you're allowed to have a short and plate as long as I said, as long as the text and letters and that are the right legal size by the DVLA, as long as it's the right size, you can have the plate as short as you want. Say if you've got one letter and one number on your number plate, you can have it as short to the one letter and number and one letter and one number or two letters or whatever as much as you want. You can have it shortened down to it as much as you want, as long as the text stays the same. So that's one thing I want to say. Um, and then if you're gonna buy a shortened plate, make sure you, whoever you buy it from, Prince has their like um. Like trademark print down on the bottom of the number plate. It needs to be at the bottom of the well, somewhere on the number plate. That's another thing that you'll get pulled over for and done by the police. If it's just a gel number plate with a yellow 
with a with just text on and not not like a print of like the company that made it then you will get your plate taken away from you or your car or points i don't know what they do these days but just make sure they have like a print down the bottom but yeah like i said you can have gel you can have like a gel dome effect you can have a metal effect on it it does not matter as long as it's within a size limit and it's got the trademark print of the company on the bottom or whatever on the plate and the police can see it you're gonna have no problems at all you'll have legal rights over fucking everything so if a police officer has pulled you over and you've got it all fine and just literally explain to them like look you obviously need to go sort it out if you're like if you're pulling me over and you know at the end of the day you can't they can't do you like you just you just got to know your rights guys if you know your rights and you'll be fine but yeah that's pretty much it for short and number plates um Another thing about plates, oh yeah, if you're going abroad, it's just something I'd add in anyway. If you're going abroad to like France, stuff like that, you're going to have to put GB on the new plate, but, that, but that, most people know that anyway. So, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, like I said, ST's having some things done to it. Um, it's pretty sad just being sat in it doing nothing at the moment, but hopefully within like a week or two time, it will be back on the road and you lot will be seeing what's being done to it. Um, exciting things, hopefully, if it all goes through right, but... Um, but yeah, I just want to get a few things done to it, and then hopefully I can bring out videos of doing it as well, because um, I want to bring out videos like you know, like. Hold on. Oh, trademark, copyright. I mean, there we go. Right, just back. Right, basically, yeah. So, like I said, I want to bring out videos for you guys, like you know, fitting calipers, fit exhaust systems. I want to bring out videos for you guys, just so you can see how to do things to your car yourself, because that's the main thing, like. Before I started working at ATS, I didn't have a clue like how to do like, anything. But now I've learned pretty much all the stuff. Like, I want I want everyone else to know because any day you, you guys want to start saving. Fuck off! Right, you want to start saving yourself some money by doing it yourself, buying parts yourself, getting an axle stand, getting some ratchets, getting some spanners, sort yourself out. You be able to crack on a set of calipers or set on new pads, new discs, whatever you want to do. So yeah, I want to put up a few videos, few videos for you guys about that. But apart from that, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you want to see, um, if you want some more useful information on anything to do with your cars, comment down below. I'll try and bring out another video. But like I said, um, the car is going to be off the road for a bit now, and I will let you know when it's all going to be back on social media. If you do follow me on social media, like I said, follow me on social media as well. L19 underscore BOU for Snapchat and Instagram, and L19 BOU for Twitter. Um, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be another video out this week um, explaining about. Well, actually, I'll just, I won't let you guys know you guys can find out in the future but yeah there will be another video out soon but yeah thanks for watching guys as always subscribe like and comment and hit the little um bell notification to be notified every time i put a video up i'll see you all in the next video bye bye